Utah native who left college and decided to go make her mark in China. And the remarkable thing about Helen is that she, she did some tremendous work, but her husband, Edgar Snow, received a lot more credit than Helen did. And I think that always bothered her as evidence through her writings and some of the things we came across in special collections. Not that her work was any less valuable, it may have become more valuable or even, you know, her contribution. But nonetheless, Helen wrote some books herself. She did a lot of the photographs. She immortalized uh, Edgar Snow in photographs and uh, even shot important photographs of Mao Zedong and Judah and Zhou Enlai and some of those others. So um, her contribution was significant. This is the house that my Aunt Tilly lived in and Helen Foster Snow lived in this house when she went to the university for a couple of years. She's very intellectual. She'd write me single space letters, like two or three pages long, single space, a whole bunch of stuff. It wasn't until 10 years ago, my aunt was being honored in Xi'an. They were dedicating a, a Helen Foster Snow Study Center there at Northwest University in Xi'an. And so I was invited along with my father to go there. And that was really the first time that I realized how big this was and the impact that she had on the world. And so what we've done is we've created a foundation called the Helen Foster Snow Foundation. And it's really to honor her legacy and to continue what she started, which is building bridges of international understanding. But when I think of Helen, one of her most important contributions was not only the work that she did in China, but the work that she did after she left China in 1939. Uh, she continued to build bridges between the Chinese people and the American people. And she felt strongly that uh, we, our two peoples, our two countries should be on friendly terms, that we had much in common and much to celebrate together. And so I think Helen, more than virtually any other American of her generation, did more to develop bridges between the Chinese people and the American people than any other person. <laughs>